Marika <laughs> and Jake, um, maybe you guys can speak to this a little bit. Uh, we should announce that Amir's officially taking a sabbatical. We're not sure how long it's going to last, but uh, yeah, do you guys want to talk about the meeting that we had on Wednesday? He basically, yeah, I don't know. When you say we should talk about it, I don't know yeah. if we actually are supposed to talk about it. You know? yeah, right. It feels like maybe divulging too much private information. Paris will cut it out if it's too if it crosses any lines. I just feel like why even should... take the risk? That... Why even take why even take the risk of saying stuff that Ferris might have to cut out? Well, I just I, I, I at the very least I kind of want to talk it is... out with you guys because we never got to debrief. Amir really kind of took out a lot of things that seemed to have to do with other things in his personal life. He took it out on me uh, on Wednesday really? in our company wide all hands meeting. Um, you felt like mm-hmm. it was not entirely based on your behavior and it was mostly just other things in his life that he was frustrated about. he was so angry that I, it feels like i was just the straw that broke the camel's back i mean he was saying very hurtful things about how i run this show specifically um mm. ways that i sort of get under his skin uh and the other people that are just as he said too right. polite to blow up at, uh, up at me um with us as never before mel bracewell famous comedian of uh, new zealand style <laughs> I don't, I mean, like, I'm starting off so low energy just because, like, I'm not, I'm still bummed about last week. Wait, what happened about last week? I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I what forgot. Happened? Didn't tell you anything, did I? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, immediately right off the bat, I just want to say none of the criticism that we gave yeah. you, the constructive criticism that we gave you last week, mm-hmm. clearly none of it has gotten through to you. Especially the sound um, mixing. We were like, yeah, yeah that was thing, a big one. I didn't have time. The one thing that we asked for was for you to mix the audio so it wouldn't hurt our ears when you played it. But. Yeah, I, I haven't been here before. I was just thinking that that intro sort of reeked of someone who had never been given any feedback ever. So, <laughs> mm. that- and then we'll say podcast proceed. Uh, Jeffrey, can I jump in right now? Yeah, well, George, well, you yeah. got to say he got to do you it. Gotta you got to yell, stop, yell. Yeah. stop. Well, I didn't know we'd started yet. We've started. Oh, good. We're started now. And yeah. okay, go and stop. So fast, but yeah. Well, I just want to say all this lead up. I think you're actually doing a really good job. And if anything, uh, Marika and Riley are antagonizing you because I think they are braced for you to do something awful, which is fair. History has shown that. But I think in spite of that, you're actually doing a good job uh, conducting this train and you've only yelled, what's that? Maybe once. And then you <laughs> called yourself out on it twice. Yeah. I think you're, do- this is real. I think you're doing a good job. I think, I mean, granted this the inciting incident for this whole thing happened three weeks ago. And I'm like, oh, you think you'd be over and maybe zero <laughs> podcasts. There it is. There it is. It out. <laughs> um, but I think you're doing a good job. Podcast proceed. Stop. Sorry. Stop. You know, that actually reminds me, you know, George saying that it's like all that's true, George. I think Jeff, like in the face of everything you are, you are really uh, you're taking a good lead on it. In the face of adversity, I shine. Yeah. That being, you know, that little point George brought up of like, oh, this happened three weeks ago. Like you're really still holding on to it. Like you can't seem to shake it. Like that actually bleeds. I want to say that bleeds into the other show. And that is just like you can't seem to let anything go. Like. We like even like, oh, my God, when Finn and Billy were on and like, yeah. they like I was having such a good time with them. It's like we've had I them on multiple until times. A point. Well, that's the thing is like even in our episode with Lamorne and, and Billy, you yeah. brought it up and we cut yeah. that out. But you were like, sorry, Finn is just like, God, could you believe that fucking it guy sticks with me? It builds. Yeah. And you got to like, let it go. Thank you, George, for bringing that up. All good yeah. points. Jeff, you can't let anything go to save your life. All right. Trains rolling into the station. Right. Week four. Audit edition, headgum podcast style. We've got <laughs> with us as always Marika Brown in the sax, Jake Hurwitz on the pod, and uh, an old friend of mine, an old work colleague in a way. And I think he's going to be pretty happy to see the changes that have been made. Uh, Amir Blumenfeld, welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah. Too- <laughs> Thanks. Forget it. Thank you. <laughs> What do you mean? Forget it. It just it felt like uh, yeah, nothing. Let's keep changed. it positive. Yeah, I felt like nothing. Let's changed. keep it positive. Let's see what um, he has in store. It's like okay, yeah. great. Well, maybe we'll do another tag team swap out if you want to be back and being you, or anyone else wants to try being. By yeah. the way, I thought we were kind of all auditor when you gave us the everyone the power to yell stop yeah. and to d- discuss. And I was honestly the first person to yell stop. <laughs> I mean, you guys are like the auditor's apprentice. I, well, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm fine with that role. That seems yeah. I'm comfortable uh, with it's auditor. A good role, yeah. auditor apprentice, auditor. Heavy light. is the head, you know. Sure, but anyway, does anyone want to swap and be the auditor, and then and then someone else can swap in and be Jeff, and then 
I'll tell you what, I'll be the auditor. Okay, great. But I do think that Jeff should be Jeff. Okay. Because otherwise, what the fuck are we auditing? (laughs) Totally. (laughs) Okay. Totally. Yeah, I so I think that. maybe the only role that can switch is auditor. I've never seen Jake this mm-hmm. angry, and I'm starting to get flashbacks to Wednesday's meeting. But the issue is, this whole thing happened because of Amir. Otherwise, it'd be a normal episode, <laughs> oh, wow. and it would be just ripping the Band-Aid off slowly for 45 minutes. You guys would get through it. The audience loves it. Well, I guess we should just wax. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like... Clear we don't have to speak on the hot button issues. Yeah, it's like those need to be discussed, but then it's like there are certain people in certain places to do that. And so I think yeah. you, specifically you, Jeff, on this show, I don't know if it's like if you need to talk about the hot button issues. Because also it's like you didn't it didn't seem to be led with any kind of agenda. You're like, let's just talk about it. So it's like, in what way? Like, why? Like, what do you mean yeah. for what? You yeah. Know? Pipe is back in his hand. Pipe is back. It hasn't left the hand. Well, right. And so it's it is. That's kind of like a safety blink. Yeah, it's a crutch. It's a crutch. Yeah. It's a crutch. But on the positive note, I think your hair looks really good this way. Yeah, I would agree. That's genuine. I think your hair looks really good. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Marika, I took the note. I mixed. I mixed the levels. Yeah, it was a little better. Yeah, that was another note from last week. Was that you? You the old one was this. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white van. Riley's grasping her headphones. She moved them off her head. So, so I found this one. Daniel. It's much nicer. That damn da- that second one. <laughs> even with my headphones off, these cans on my head will bleed. That's the thing. Like it's not my fault. You didn't come prepared. What is your fault and what you have it to understand? It kind of is your fault. You could, have t- you could have texted them about this segment. Yeah, and I felt that as soon as I said it. Uh, I should have texted you guys. I'm so <laughs> fucking sorry. You don't have to be that sorry about it. Because that's a little No, I'm off- like. Cutting. I'm, I'm sorry. Because th- now you guys feel put on the spot. You, put, you feel a little <laughs> lost. And I, it was not my intention to make you feel that way. And for that, I'm sorry. Right. Now you're apologizing to the point where like the only way to... To, for us to feel better is to like compare me to Piers Morgan, which I don't want. I don't want to be in that situation. Right. Amir, like, you're starting to like sour on the episode, so let's save it here. <laughs> starting to, <laughs> I guess, so, some questions to like lay the groundwork of things to be thinking about is how can I be better as a host and as a person? Have I even done anything wrong ever? Um, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Have and I even done anything wrong ever? <laughs> You're looking for positive reinforcement. And one of the questions we're supposed to positively reinforce you about is, have I done anything wrong ever? I don't know. I just like, you guys were in the meeting. Nobody fucking defended me, by the way. Nobody came to my side. And they didn't necessarily reinforce what Amir was yelling at me about, but it just didn't feel good to be like <laughs> me against everyone. Yeah. You know, sometimes when somebody's that mad, you just kind of have to let them air everything out. Like, especially yeah. if you agree with what they're saying. <laughs> well, I that first part of the sentence was really good and I agreed with it. The second part, I'm going to try and forget. Uh-huh. Basically, Mel, any time I make some kind of mistake in your eyes or any time you have any feedback, just say stop. Just yell stop. <laughs> yeah, then- deal. The podcast will stop and then you'll just kind of tell me where I went wrong or ideally where I went right. Okay, so we're allowed to yell stop anytime you do something right. Yes, correct. <laughs> All right. So keep in mind, if if there's a long uninterrupted period where none of us say stop, then you might be doing something wrong. No, you can also okay no, you? actually you can say stop for any feedback, positive or negative. I just hope any, that it's okay. positive. It seems like a really disjointed way to do a podcast. <laughs> Whether something negative or positive happens, we have to stop the podcast in its tracks and comment on it. It mm-hmm. seems, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just kind of, I'm yeah. new to this. So well, we already locked it is, in. You've got it covered. I already said it. Okay. There's yeah. no way that Ferris is going to cut it out. Yeah. There are other things that I can't even air, and that's coming from me, someone who likes to say people's personal address. Like, George, you live in. Yeah, and we live together. Yeah, so you yeah. doxed yourself. You doxed there. yourself. I think that should uh, be kept in, Ferris. <laughs> but it's <laughs> against your interests. Well, look, I'm strong. I can protect myself. I've been getting weaker and weaker as the year goes on. I guess the first thing that I think of when someone's like has someone's address from mm-hmm. the internet, I don't think of them like immediately going to fight 
the person in the house, I think of like, they're probably going to do some other things. So I maybe don't rely on your strength. Well, but also we're talking about Jeff. So they might fight Jeff. George, I think, is probably fine. They might drop off a gift or like a basket. Gift yeah, basket. That would be really but... nice. Actually, definitely drop George off a gift basket. So they'll drop it off at the front and then go around back. And <laughs> Beat your ass. Beat the shit out of me, yeah. <laughs> How is everybody? I think that one of the other notes that Marika gave me, sorry, stop. One of the other notes that Marika gave me was, uh, you know, we can also just have normal conversation. It doesn't always have to be like goofs. Podcast proceed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how are you guys? How are you guys' personal lives? I feel like I haven't seen you in an office in a couple months. You're defying everything we know about immunity by telling people to wear a mask to have been vaccinated. No. Instead, you should be saying there is no science no. to say we're going to have this a problem. This is too long. Stop. <laughs> this is too long. Is this C-SPAN? Like, what's this, happening? It's Fox this News. Isn't... It's putting us in a fucking bad mood <laughs> listening to that guy. What am I supposed to do? I'm chewing a fucking carrot. I can't. I can talk, but the fucking they don't want to hear any food in my mouth. I'm sad still. It's, also, from it's insane that you haven't finished that carrot yet. You invited an auditor onto the podcast to listen to the worst segment you've ever done. Also, right. like the segment where Jeff like hands the hosting duties over to someone else. Why does he just then not join in at all? So he's no that's longer a something host, we've. But he, that's something we've brought <laughs> up as well. <laughs> So I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, he doesn't become. It's not a trading places thing. He just becomes, I don't know, a bystander, (laughs) but an antagonistic. What is it about specifically? Let's get specific notes that I can remember. What is it about the ticking clock that puts you guys on edge? Is it an anxiety thing? Because you're not late to anything. You're in the middle of the show. Don't put it on us like we've got a physical problem. It's just. Like if there's a ticking clock, it, it, you're trying to believe there's some sort of impending doom. And that yeah. would cause anxiety to anyone, not just us. I would also submit that if like if three people that you do the ticking clock thing for, if all of us are off put by it, we shouldn't even have to explain why. Like that should just be like for you. That's like that's a quorum of, of feedback that you just have just to listen to. Take it on you know? its face. Democracy rules. Mm. I also feel Sad. like, um, <laughs> you know, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> onward, right? I'm shaky emotionally, but we'll move on. Uh, Disney Pixar how are you is guys? onward. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Disney Pixar is onward. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Jeff, you keep doing this thing. Uh, it's great. It's vulnerable where you sort of share how kind of sad you are and then you laugh it off almost immediately. <laughs> um and I think it's losing its charm. I think it's yeah. you've lost mileage on it. I think if you have grievances to air, you should do it. And you shouldn't just take these bullets like a little human voodoo doll. I think you should like, I don't know, either open up or maybe like save it for later off the pod rather than these little snippets that spark concern in us. And it's like, hey, we should explore that. Um, yeah. But then sort of band-aiding it with joy. Yeah. To add to that. Not even just the laughing it off things, but like maybe we'll find later on that we'll be talking. We'll be have the three of us will be having a great time, and Jeff will just be sitting there with some sort of face on, not engaging, uh, looking sad, looking like he has no way to jump in. Maybe with a prop. Um, yeah. It's hard. He might like, be holding a pipe. He'll yeah. definitely be holding a pipe. Sometimes the conversation gets away from me and I just don't know how to relate. Relatability was another note from Zach Dunn. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to find ways of human connection because that's what podcasting is all about is it's storytelling. And uh, sometimes I don't have anything to add and then that makes me sad, which takes away from being glad. I think if it makes you sad, the thing is that you just don't show it. Don't show it on your face. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay so so don't emote as much yeah because we see it we're talking yeah. we're having fun and then we look to your corner and you're just scowling yeah you're like we can't tell if maybe you're about to cry it's very <laughs> jarring and upsetting to us and then we have to say something about it yeah uh, and then that's not good for the listener and it's interesting you say look to your corner because sometimes like sometimes i look to my corner and it doesn't feel like anyone's in it you know, mm. and to George's point, it's like I get that I've built a reputation for myself of being pipes some- in your hand, yeah. right? I see the pipe <laughs> in your hand. Pipe. So already, like you, you did bring up uh, like, oh, this is something that makes me feel vulnerable. No one's in my corner, yep. and now you have the pipe in your yep. mouth. So yeah, you're I actually not gonna fully. Well, you don't. I don't think that's not true, Ellen. You don't fully get it. You're not gonna fully engage. 
because you're like now you're just kind of like a prop comic. You're devolving. You're devolving into prop comedy. And so you don't actually have anything to put on the table. You rhyme and you hold a pipe. You you I just want to point back to like maybe 45 seconds ago. You're like, oh, it makes me sad. And then I'm not glad or whatever the fuck you said. You do a rhyme and then you put a pipe in your mouth. And then that you're like, oh, but but there's no but we're just kind of all left. Like, what are we supposed to do to that? Then that then the conversation becomes about the pipe. And so then, oh, are we we? We have to stop for a whole conversation just to make you feel like a big man. Oh, a big man with big pipe in a closet. Right? Sorry. Yeah. Podcast proceed. That I just had to throw that little that those two cents in there as well. Because that was yeah. some great feedback from Rika. <laughs> Thank you. So what is going on with you guys? Learn through this process. Basically, what we've done is we've had outside guests on the past three weeks as you took your, as you called it, sabbatical. And I feel like I've been bettered. How? What have you changed? What have you learned? Well, basically, What's I was different about you. I was broken down brick by brick with this poison, really. And uh, in the <laughs> middle of it, I was like, I've been better. You know, like I was kind of low and I was like, I've been better. But now I've be- I realize I've been bettered. The feedback that I got has <laughs> changed me uh, irreparably in a way. And as in, I'm not going to go back to the way it was. What do you get? OK, What's so that? let's ha- <laughs> let's so let's have the episode let's see yeah. how it is let's see if you've changed so far it feels yeah. identical to when i left <laughs> and by the way i didn't not go to therapy that day and then lose lose my cool on you yeah. like don't don't think that <laughs> the fact that you still blame me for that means you've learned absolutely nothing <laughs> let alone been broken down brick by brick yeah. and bettered <laughs> Well, it's not only broken down brick by brick, but it was also like I almost set up a brick and mortar. What? And I don't mean a storefront. I mean that the bricks were broken down brick by brick and I went to Mordor because it was a hero's journey. Really? I, yeah. What's that, Jake? I was fucking, I was just following, I said, really, to your story. So you yeah. didn't even have to stop talking. I said, really? It's like a normal <laughs> thing that people do in a conversation. This might be a bad sample size because I'm a little on edge. I'm a little nervous that like he's going to yell at me again. I, I feel like I shouldn't even talk to him here. I mean, he was, he, he's, do you want me to pull up the transcript? I've been transcribing our company meetings. Well, you you definitely shouldn't thing, be doing but, that. That's uh, like privileged information. Well, yeah. I'd love to hear it. I'm not a part of this company. Yeah. Yet. I'd love, I'd love to hear well, it. Maybe Ferris happens. can cut this part out if, if you just want to sh- share it with Zach. Yeah. So basically he said, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we re- I regret hiring you. I re- hired you when you were 18 years old as an intern and somehow you never left. I don't know what I did Mm. to deserve to be around you each and every week, let alone have to co-host a a podcast with me, which, by the way, he doesn't co-host that I'm I'm the host. If anything, Marika is the co-host. And then he went on to call me various not slurs, but like uh, mean names. (laughs) So he called me he called me a dork ass. He called me a nerd with no friends. He said that the only reason that my relationship ended last year was because of my personality, which is like a big reason. Like that's like you're right to say these aren't slurs. Just so you know. <laughs> I know. I just, they felt <laughs> cutting. They felt cutting. They're definitely personal insults. Yeah. So I can understand. Very personal. Yeah. Nothing to do with the show. It sounds yeah. Like. yeah. Well, it's, I feel like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't think, there's no way it's just my hosting ability. Right. But it's not, it's also not <laughs> other people. All right. It's all you I get still. That. You're right there. Yeah. I'll give you that. Thank you. So the idea yeah. is to take this time. Uh, the, the only thing that, Everybody did say because Amir stormed out of the meeting was that, hey, Jeff, maybe take it easy these next couple of weeks. And if Amir does decide to come back, which it's not even a sure thing, you know, try to take it easy on him, too. So I don't exactly know what that means. So that's why do you feel like maybe like a sabbatical time away from the podcast would include, you know, like not airing the dirty laundry on the podcast, because it feels like this is in a way just like keeping Amir roped in. I don't know. I guess Steely Dan was wrong. You can buy a thrill. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's so that was the most clever joke I've ever made on this show. You're, I think you're, muted. you're muted. You're muted. You're, yeah. you're either muted, muted or you're no, no, you are. Oh, now you're not. So you didn't hear the Steely Dan joke? No, we heard that. No. Oh, then... we heard that. We heard the Steely Dan joke. <laughs> So you didn't laugh. I was <laughs> mumbling. I was mumbling about how heard. that was the most clever joke I've ever said on this show. The things that I've learned, I would say, is Less interruptions, ideally no interruptions, unless it goes with the flow of conversation. Which is different. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt yeah. you and remind you that your idea of a conversation flow is very different from the kind of normal conversation flow. And his name is John C. 
That was just to show Marika that I mixed that one down six decibels too. Uh, that's from WWE. You've got to be fucking <laughs> kidding me. Now I owe you $240. Jeff was too. You got to mix that Hello? down. Yeah, he's taking a phone call also, which is great, but it was to, um, to, lower to the not levels. interrupt people. Yeah, this is oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I love roller coasters. I, um, I, there was like one time I went on a roller coaster yeah, where fine. Maybe eight, I, eight I was by myself and I had my phone and my glasses yeah, and on cut, at the same yeah. time, but I was like afraid of oh, them no, falling sorry, I was just going to say, I, was, I can, I can uh, meet you in like the parking lot. And then so I was like drawn. sitting on the ride, holding my phone <laughs> onto my thigh, like in my pocket and then holding onto my glasses. So okay. Yeah. Fall. So just well, I I also never wore contact lenses. Like it felt too yeah, weird well, to I have to something check on my eyeball panel like that. because so, yeah. The last so for time twenty I got years, I only done, had glasses. I had and else, and I guess you got used I think it. it was like the high, Sorry, I think I want, it was like I'm the top one percent of LDL and HDL. Cholesterol. To be clear, he's not on the phone because starting to get worried for like you know you can see the apps. See, yeah. It's so not he's really on the so he's, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's like some right. weird power movers. That sounds good. Yeah, he muted himself, so um, we can't see. At eight thirty, yeah. we can't hear him. If Jeff is playing his conversation, all right, as, and like, then yeah, it's just the HDL this. and the LDL cholesterol that I want to get checked with the lipid panel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Make and vitamin D twenty five as well. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> a big one. He's not on the phone. Cool. See you then. And should I? Oh, sorry. But like should he's talking before? in a way that he definitely knows. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of a podcast. I have to kind of <laughs> he's had, get back to it. He's had this. Okay, I will. Real conversation. All right, see you before. then. <laughs> he knows about the different kinds of cholesterols and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that in. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Zach, I want to get your outside perspective here. Yeah. yeah. Basically, like, um, it was Marika's suggestion to, for people to audit me to give me <laughs> constructive criticism ideally feedback criticism has a negative connotation um on how i can be better <laughs> right <laughs> it, uh, i mean constructive i guess is doing the positive work there but yeah so you want constructive feedback yes yeah yeah um, but not criticism but not criticism <laughs> You want positive feedback. Is that what you want? <laughs> yeah, because it's it, my fucking confidence has been shot after this meeting. Sure. So I could, sure. I, I would, you, you know, build me up, you know, would be great. <laughs> Before we move on, Mel, what's new with you? Do you have anything to plug? <laughs> you do, that the plugs is kind of like the end of show thing. Do you want me to leave? No, I feel no, like no, 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 was... no. I just like get them while they're here. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> I don't have any plugs. I don't want to plug anything. I'm I'm good. All right. I'll be fine without any plugs. <laughs> now this is really your time to shine. This is the panel show of it all, Mel. Welcome to Bernanaw. Jake left. Um <laughs> Sorry, I had to plug in my oh, computer. Cool. Okay. Uh what if Brooks Brothers wasn't bought out? This begs the question. Wait, can I and, say stop the podcast? Yeah. I let you run, but I had a couple of things that sort of <laughs> piled up, and I was like, I'm going to forget all of them. Yeah. One, you started this segment by cutting off Riley, and I think it's more than just, like, interrupting with a what's that. Like, it seems you're learning that lesson. It's, in general, cutting people off, especially with sound. And I, I thought it was just the what's that that seemed to get to people. So that's no, a good it's note. being interrupted in general. So that's no A. Yeah. Uh, and to nope. be interrupted by a damn Daniel. Sorry, go on, George. I just had oh. to add that. Like, of all things. but yeah, No, and continue. that makes sense. Oh, so in that case, actually, you double interrupted, Riley, because you interrupted her with the damn Daniel, and then you interrupted her with the theme music for the second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, it's hard, I think, you know, because the, I, we get to the 25-minute mark, and then you're we have this run of George. show. You're interrupting George. I think, and this is, like, maybe an active solution moving forward. Yeah. Maybe in, if you still aren't over this by the end of this episode and you're doing this audit again next week, yeah, I think be. you lose soundboard privileges. I think moving in to the – if you have to do this again, you lose wow. soundboard privileges. Wow. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, because the show is kind of the soundboard and vice versa. So well, right, just someone would else would like. have it. And vice versa? What's that? <laughs> you said the, the show is the soundboard and vice versa. So the soundboard is the show? He's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's it's not, not good, wrong. but he's not wrong. <laughs> 
No, that's a good note. Maybe uh, maybe Marika has it. Maybe Marika takes the reins next week of the soundboard. Mm. That's another segment yeah. we do. Marika takes the reins where she has two minutes to five minutes, 20 minutes sometimes to t- do whatever yeah, she wants. Yeah, which is, we don't have to get into that, but that's it's been brought up and it's a whole other issue. There were a couple times too where like I would like think that you were further ahead of me than you were because I would be looking down at my phone. And so I would like step onto the ladder as you were also on the ladder, right? And my yep. face would just kind of go straight into your ass. It was kind <laughs> yeah. of like, that's you know, why I would, I would kick you. I I would right. kick you with the back of my heel. And I can't even you. report that to HR because it was like an honest mistake on both parties' sides. Yeah. At a certain point, sure, I got off on it, but yeah. Oh, God. Would. All right, what about Mickey Dale? <laughs> Who is that? He was in the UK indie rock band Embrace. <sighs> Who are they? They were a rock band in England, man. And I think when? he's not like you. Because you know what? You're not British. <laughs> so don't bring him up. And you don't play an instrument other than guitar. Right. right. What did he, he play? Was in he, a rock played, band. he played electric guitar. Yeah. I played electric guitar. Also, you said that Jake is like Piers Morgan, who's British. By the way, Mickey Dale, I'm looking him up. He does kind of look like Jake. So the one person who like, <laughs> it seems like you forced back your way into it. And then you said he, he doesn't remind you of Jake at all. That's true. What is? <laughs> I also feel like we should lay down some rules yeah. in terms yeah. of when feedback is given like I was is this say, should we plan I was literally about to say this <laughs> anytime throughout the show anytime, anytime just say stop just yell stop <laughs> I'm not gonna do that right. but I'll, and then, I'll do it well, so softer. Marika asked if we could do rules and you said no essentially <laughs> <laughs> you're like I was about to explain there are no I was about to explain it's chaos <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's maybe what, the first thing that we should just like keep in the back of our minds yeah. as we're going through this I guess this is as good as time as any to announce this. I'm working on <laughs> um, I'm developing it with <laughs> CISO, and uh, it's going really well. <laughs> Sorry, did you say, say and CISO? <laughs> <laughs> Point being, I didn't have a lot of time. But I, I did have a lot of time for reflection. Like, as I was falling asleep and shit, I was, like, lying awake nights, sweating, uh, seemingly a side effect from the COVID vaccine, and... Uh, you know, I, I realized the error of my ways. I realized the terror of my ways. And so I wanted to have you on again to give notes on how do I can make these segments better. So do you have any notes so far, Heaven or Mel? I feel like I just blacked out in the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> my mind. Yeah. All right. One note is you sort of soft pitched your, your CISO <laughs> in the middle of the segment after you announced the segment. After yeah, you played which the, I the music. feel like we were giving yeah. feedback on and then... <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I got sidetracked. Yeah, to and you said this is as good as time as any, which was not a good time. You said it was a good time. The worst time. There's a time at the end for plugs. I feel like I fucking missed going to some kind of social etiquette class when I was young because everybody else seems not to act. <laughs> Enough about the intro. You guys know what's going on. We're being audited. Uh, you guys are my close friends, so any positive feedback that you have is great. Positive reinforcement because my confidence is at an all time low. <laughs> but I also will take constructive notes. Do you, is now a good time to like talk about review review, like how you are there, or is this just a headgum podcast thing? I think it would be a great time to talk about review <laughs> review also because I feel like it's got to bleed in. Like they both have. To I be mean, it's the like I, we've never had this kind of like platform to be able like. Or I've never I've never had an in to be like, oh my god, now I can finally give him yeah. all of the feedback that he. He's been needing, you yeah. know. I think this is the perfect f- place for. I almost that. fear that it'll be the tipping point. I f- almost fear that that might <laughs> put me over the edge. Frontman of the Doobie Brothers, uh, background singer for Steely Dan, solo artist, etc. He's there the one is. that's like, "It came from somewhere yeah. back in a long." That one, yeah, for um, sure. Gee. <laughs> Let's fucking <laughs> say let's <laughs> let's go. We're not interrupting. <laughs> We're not fucking getting into the way. Just start the game. <laughs> you will not. <laughs> you will not start you know it. You know what? Stop. No. Stop. No Two stopping. Episodes. We no. have to power through. Jeffrey's not open to feedback. I'm open know? to. I'm trying. It's just like hard because I'm already. I'm still emotionally damaged from Wednesday's meeting. I haven't fully gotten over it. That's fair. And that's fair. You guys were there. You know what he called me? He said I looked like Johnny Bravo who sl- fell asleep in a tanning bed. <laughs> All right. That one's a little racist. That one, that one was a little bit racist. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think he meant it that way. 
He just meant that I was dumb enough to fall asleep in a tanning bed. Okay. <laughs> Mel, it's, it's like 7 a.m. where you are, right? Yeah, the sun hasn't I'm even so risen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, because I've just come from New Zealand, you know, I was sort of still on the New Zealand clock. But when I saw that the sun hadn't risen, I was like, maybe I've made a mistake here. I went to an all-boys school when I was growing up, and our sister's school had these bumper stickers they would sell in their store. Like, everybody, you know? Where you would buy, like, a Letterman jacket or this bumper sticker that said, Yet. George's girlfriend went to this school. And uh, the Yet didn't stand for anything. It was more of a mantra. And it was, I don't have an A in chemistry. Yet. And so it was basically a way to encourage, like, all the the girls. So? I'm just saying, why not us? With what? We haven't waxed about Brooks Brothers. Yet. Oh my god. Got it. Got it. This begs the question, what if Brooks Brothers hadn't been bought? And then I thought we could kind of just talk about what Brooks Brothers might have become. Because let's say that, you know, it eventually is only worth a couple thousand dollars and we buy it. What do, what do we decide to use the name for? Okay. I will give you that question. Getting yeah. to that point was an absolute journey that we did not need a to go through. Walk, but yeah. the question of... Yeah. Scenic route. You guys know the old adage, like, for comparison's sake? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, this is for comparison's Jake. <sighs> You've learned nothing. What's that? You've learned nothing. <laughs> you haven't even <laughs> That's heard... That's the name of the game. The game. It's not a yes, <laughs> this or that. It's not a for cash thing yet. <laughs> It's just a way to wax. It's a fucking format to play with. Don't within. get so defensive. You just paused the podcast to take a phone call. I muted so myself. The fact, that Amir, the fact that Amir is like, you haven't changed. It's not just about the game that's happening right, right now. You know what? The game it's itself about- is what's changed. You guys used to humor me. This used to be great. <laughs> that phone call was about blood work I'm getting done. I'm basically due for a heart attack in the next 15 years. I'm 23 years old. What's your diet? I eat normally. It's probably a, a symptom of a heterocholesterolemia or something. It's a hereditary thing because my ferritin levels are fine, which means that there's no inflammatory issues. It's just high cholesterol from genes. Unless, you know, my gene, I need to update my genes. Yeah. Nice. And not even a fucking corner smile on Amir's I laugh. <laughs> the tips of his lips didn't go He's up. He's hiding even under a his desk. Bit. Who's Jesse McCarthy? Who? Beautiful soul. Your beautiful singer. soul. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> um, Weird octave. This is Jesse or Paul. So a sentence will be said, and uh, you guys attribute it to either Jesse or Paul McCartney. This is for cash. This is $20 for every right answer. $20 owed to me for every wrong answer. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Sure. Zach, why don't you play along, but you're also the auditor. Do you think you can do both? All right. And hey, guys. Oh, so good to be here on the podcast. Yep. I'm going to play this Hey, game. Zach. We should introduce Zach Dunn, writer for What We, we Do don't, the Shadows, no. Bless the Hearts. This is, th- this is theater. How are you, Jeff? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm nervous for sure for this episode. <laughs> Something I was thinking about that was kind of interesting about the Vax, though, is that it doesn't have to go in through your arm. That's just like the most popular place to get it because it can enter through the lymph nodes, etc. But it just has to be intramuscular. So I do wonder if there's a world where I could have gotten the Vax in my axe. Your what? <laughs> my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. But if it's like a drive through how would that possibly... <laughs> Go down. At a CBS Minute Clinic. Window down, ass out. <laughs> I'm wearing a some kind of G string just to cover the you know, the whole thing. <laughs> and yeah. um, a G string really doesn't cover the whole. <laughs> to, to Not if you're bent over whole. that way. <laughs> Hardly anything, really. You also texted me the other day, what if I get the Johnson and Johnson in my Johnson and Johnson? <laughs> That's sort of like a one and done. Yeah. So inappropriate. You shouldn't text me that. Yeah. You shouldn't want to have gotten the vaccine in your ass. All right. I mean, <laughs> people have this sore arm thing. I could have dealt with a sore ass and it wouldn't have been too bad because I would have got that vax. Anyway, I mean, fucking nothing today. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> nothing. Just embarrassed. Cut that out. No, no, stop. Yeah. No. Stop. Yep. Do you say we're giving you nothing Not today? you, Marika. You've been great. It's just like I'm seeing blank stares from Jake and Amir, which is insane because they used to be comedians on collegehumor.com. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you want with us to say? So far, all you said is that I wonder if I can get the vaccine in my ass. <laughs> I 
fucking yes and at that and came up with a pretty good Johnson and Johnson joke. And then that's for you considered not giving you anything. I gave you more than you should have gotten and a lot more than you deserved. Marika's wearing winning sixty dollars. Um Jake, you're breaking even. Zach, you're down sixty. No, I got it. You said Paul? I said Paul. Yeah. All right. Audio detectives out there, you can go back, you'll hear it. I said Paul. Ferris, if <laughs> if if Zach didn't say Paul, just you insert yourself saying I'm Ferris Manchi and I'm going on record saying Zach B. Dunn is a liar. But if he did, j- just isolate his audio yeah, yeah, yeah. and play it right now. Maybe even put a little jingle underneath it if you have time, Ferris. <laughs> um, Ferris, he's so busy. Paul McCartney. That's absolutely Paul. correct. It was so, yeah, it was really quaint. Paul McCartney. That's absolutely Paul. correct. Paul. 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 Howard Stern. <laughs> what? What are the <laughs> options? <laughs> no options. Let's just fucking talk about it. Like, is Jake similar to him at all? I would say, yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of why, 10. Why would you say yeah? Because they're both hosts. That's your qualifier didn't howard stern used to make people ride a sibian yeah he did and i never did that you never introduced toys into the bedroom i feel like you're sexually adventurous (laughs) (laughs) this is way too intimate you're trying to compare fucking stern's sibian machine to my personal (laughs) sex life come on you're not brad Pitt. you can talk about this shit (laughs) oh yeah fornication is is akin to fucking lasik for you right <laughs> that's how sharp i am down there it's the same shit jake have you ever uh, experimented with prostate play <laughs> let's at least answer that move on to the next celebrity. <laughs> at least, least. <laughs> if you don't want to touch the toys we should at the very least know if you've ever had your glands <laughs> expressed <laughs> And Zach, feel free to chime in at any point in time. But... Stop. <laughs> in the world of this podcast, I'm not here, you know? <laughs> but okay. I think I was just requesting the commentator to chime in whenever. Totally. Yeah. I think. But I just have to act as though I'm not there for the purposes of my audit. And but yeah. You have to act like you're not even Zach. Because Marika just said <laughs> Zach and you were Stop. like. Right. So I was, in a way, I was being. Okay. But if I'm not in the quote unquote podcast, and I'm sorry to derail. I know it hasn't even started. But if I'm not in the quote unquote podcast, who is Zach? It actually. You know what I'd say? No. Because <laughs> you're supposed to be the audit. Auditor. By the way, the podcast did, it has started. I'm an outside observer. I'm not here. I know I'm here right now because we're in the commentary zone. <laughs> so how do, how do we get to you in the commentary zone to make a comment? Man, really good <laughs> Don't question. say, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got me. That was good. I'm going to keep thinking about that for real. What about yelling obscenities at an underling employee slash friend during an all-hands Zoom meeting while the whole company watches slash smiles? <laughs> That's an interesting piece of information you get at the end. Mm-hmm. While the whole company smiles. Yeah. <laughs> That's what indicate... hurt the most was Angie Garcia from HeadGum couldn't get enough of it. She was like bit, practically throwing ones at the Zoom camera, like tipping a mirror for fucking chewing me out. What about Job Male? <laughs> He left. 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 Are you kidding me? So we didn't even reconcile. Yeah, he was like really famous, maybe fifteen years ago. So I think you're fine. Beat me to it by fifteen. And Jeffrey, do you feel like Amir bringing up your relationship like is sort of what got you thinking about that and down that path? I mean, it's hard. Yeah, it's like did it end because I'm like a bad podcast host is kind of what he was insinuating. And then I'm wondering. Uh, if, sorry, yeah, let's huh? uh, podcast proceed. I feel, I just feel like this is you know we're trending into like tech and I appreciate therapy you for you. And I feel like I appreciate what you, guys. you need. You guys are my best friends. <laughs> wow, like, this is in the podcast. He's saying, that. and that's the other thing that I worked on the past week is taking accountability for where I do go, mm-hmm. not wrong, but just not to the fullest extent of my abilities. 
why don't we make it a little bit more egalitarian? Let's just have a conversation. That's another feedback I heard from Marika last week is that sometimes I don't let conversation ride. I interrupt with, what's that? And stuff right. like that. So. <laughs> so the first one was, let's wax, which is, let's have a conversation. Now this next one is, let's have a conversation. It seems like a bit samey to me. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> that's very good. A bit samey. Maybe that's the piece of advice I'll carry on from. Because is it help? Right. If you have any rhymes, that seems to help me too. Here we go. Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five right, feet apart because they're not gay. Listen, that, that's a fine. That's correct. $50 to Marika Brownlee on the sax. Okay, here we go. Second one. It's a little Mitt Romney. That's a vine. That's correct. $50 to the man in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Number three. The emphasis. I'm going to go with Brian. That's absolutely correct. That's $50 to the woman in a statement pant. All right, here we go. Number four. How about saying this? Look, this is kosher salt. Hope you guys can see it. Listen, it's a coarse grain. You got to use kosher salt. I'm a buzz in. Yep. That's uh, Brian. That's correct. $100 to the woman in an orange. Oh, I was I hit the button by accident. That's, hundred, that's $150. Wow. <laughs> um, that's great. All right, here we go. You can't sit with us. Actually, Megan, I can't sit anywhere. I have heroids. Um, yeah. that, that is a vine. That's also Miel. That's correct, and that's going to be double points because she got the person right. I should have mentioned that, by the way, if you can say who it oh, is. Oh, the first one was Anthony. Um, that's absolutely correct. That's $200 to Marika, $100 oh, to Riley. Oh, the second one was uh, Gabe Gundacker. <laughs> that's absolutely correct. $100 to Riley and George, $200 to Marika. Actually, 150 to Riley. This is unfucking believable because that's like that's almost $500. Don't, sorry, I mean, stop. If you look at it. Don't be mad yeah. at us for winning a game that you invented and the rules that you made. I, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself, which is so much worse because the show's going to end and I can't even redirect that anger it's going to be in word the entire night and it's friday well so also my point was going to be like you're you're paying your roommate like you you could think of that as just like investing in your home in a way he's not going to spend it on our house he's going to grow mold in the living room <laughs> whoa not yet <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go ready and whisk that's brine. That's correct. <laughs> and I'm going to take a shot at who made the brine sound. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dr. Pickle? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I've already done the consultation, which is why I, was, I knew I was a candidate then. But, you know, after a year, I have a degenerative chronic dry eye disorder. And obviously, we've all been staring at screens way more the past year. So I just need to make sure that my tear film didn't get so bad that I can't get the wow. LASIK. Tear film? <laughs> your tear film yeah <laughs> your base level of saline <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows about this shit don't talk about it casually <laughs> the amount of salt on your eye is that what you're talking about yes. if you have a Amir, if you have a note for jeff say stop place that's by me very cool stop yeah it feels like the mri stuff is like cooking and is great and then I don't know what Jeffrey's even bringing to this at this point. <laughs> Not like to the specific podcast we're talking about. You know what? I think that you're exactly right. Zach, what, do you want to tag in and you can kind of talk about your experience with like medical imaging? Sure. And then I'll be the audit. What? Yeah. To tag in. I don't know. Podcast what... proceed. No, what fucking way? Jeff's <laughs> auditing himself. You know, I have a lot of experiences with medical imaging as well. You know, I've gotten an x ex rays. You know how they put that heavy thing on you the lead thing mm -hmm. so you don't get hit with the x-rays i mean sometimes i wish i had that as a flight <laughs> are you only talking about like x-rays in your mouth that's like well like... x-rays in your mouth i had x-rays okay podcast my... podcast oh, but... stop can podcast stop for a second because i feel like zach came on to do the audit switched with jeff and then was like doing five minutes of stand-up just now with the <laughs> Like, it almost feels like you guys orchestrated this beforehand. I actually had a Is note that... that was a little bit more tangible and useful, I would say. Zach. Oh, yeah, please. You might want to hit him with like a, what's that? Something like that when somebody's in the middle of saying something. <laughs> That's what I would do. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. How is this teaching you... Because sometimes it's like you can't, you want, you know that you truly know something when you can educate someone else on it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so when would I say the what's that? Um, Jake. This shouldn't be right happening. Right there. What's that? Like, right there. No. <laughs> okay. 
when somebody asks you a question that you don't want to have to be responsible <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, yeah. you yeah. sort of talk okay, over them it. and yell. What's and normally, that? It, normally good. it's like a good question that could actually like <laughs> extend the conversation. Um, so right. just keep that in mind as well. I mean, it's it's phenomenal okay. that Marika and I both got a, a pretty rare medical oh, yeah, exam that? yesterday. <laughs> And now no, it's like sad. a list of all the people that I've, you know, had romantic <laughs> right. entanglements with. Yeah, uh, let's burn oh, it. Oh, that's what that book is. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. And you want to burn it because like yeah, there's kind of like fresh. some memories there and I kind of want to keep in touch maybe. Start fresh. Yeah, it seems unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is it about the, that seems unhealthy from your perspective as a panel host, comedian, etc.? <laughs> is it... The the attachment the to attachment it right to now, it? I think, yeah, yeah the attachment yeah, like to it. it. Every other book you sort of just glossed over after we answered, but this one you're kind of like defending. Yeah, well, that's one of one. You're just clinging on to it so hard yeah. that it makes me think that you're not doing well. No, I'm doing fine. I just like sometimes I would wonder how like <laughs> is doing. You don't need to say her full name. Like, like how, how she generally asked about like how is she doing <laughs> okay that, that one you made up, made up yeah. <laughs> it actually was not but that's that is a name i would come up with <laughs> so italian um <laughs> all right so the next part is it was your reference to brooks brothers inventing ready to wear and that you do this thing a lot where you re- reference things that you assume everybody just knows. And I didn't totally know what you meant by ready to wear. In my mind, all clothes are ready to wear. That's like they wouldn't be selling them if they aren't ready to wear. To this point, this is something that was brought up last week, too, where I made the statement of like you you bring up these things that are yeah. so specific and interesting to you in this moment. The exact quote was that I guess Steely Dan was wrong. You can buy a thrill. And then nobody fucking laughed. You just interrupted Marika, right? <laughs> I feel like that was just the normal flow of conversation. But uh, well, yeah. you feel that. Well, you feel I, that I, because I was that's totally what you interrupted, do. But because you do yeah. it all the time, so you're like, oh, for me, that's normal conversation. <laughs> 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 but it's not for everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that went down as like Marika started saying something, and you said, "I remember the quote. I remember the exact <laughs> quote." And it's like those are cutting off words. <laughs> But yeah, to that point, Steely Dan reference, like, we know Steely Dan, but we're not, it's not in the moment. It's not what we're talking about. Very out of nowhere. Hard to relate to. Similar to what George was saying about Ready to Wear, which I also don't know what that is. I also didn't know about the Brooks Brothers news at all. It was this recent. You said it happened a year ago. Why are we talking about it? Et cetera, et cetera. And that's how Jeff's agents pitch him is like very out of nowhere, not relatable. And so that's, that's the email all the casting directors get. A no get, like, man. There's always no. an, there's an every man and then there's a no man. <laughs> Ready to Wear is fast fashion. That might be a little bit more buzzwordy and of the times. Okay. Like your ever lanes, your. Not a good invention. Gotcha. Uh, okay. But uh, they did it nonetheless. The, it, this all begs the question, what if they hadn't been bought? What if Chapter 11 sent them to their grave? It begs um, the question. Someone has to ask it. Jake and Ricky, you're at $10. Amir, you owe me nothing, but I owe you nothing. And that's also kind of like a metaphor <laughs> yeah, for this Yeah, you do show. owe me nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do owe me a platform, though. I will say that. It's because like... You've invested this many years so. into my career. I don't think that so. I'm actually wondering if you, you make a, a call to Streeter and I can submit for Weekend Update. As far as I'm concerned, you're gone. You're done, man. You're <laughs> fucking done. At this After point, this episode, it's done? It's done. I think so. I think this is the end. This I is think it's over for you. Unbelievable. Yeah. I have three more to get through, but it's going to be so much sadder knowing that. Here you go. <laughs> Let's hear it. It's cool. Last segment was uh, Founder or Mike. Is it from me? Is it? Do I put my foot in my mouth? Or is it other people kind of like setting me up to fail look it's clear that you think it's the latter right and that's what i'm saying i i think you need to be looking in the mirror okay yeah. and, and we talked a and lot smiling. about mirrors today and i think not that's, smiling i think that's what it's about and i think you're you're a little too focused on a mirror and not focused enough on mm. a mirror <laughs> nice. whoa so. that's really good that was really good that's that it podcast proceed it's helpful for me with those p- podcast up it's actually really helpful for me <laughs> to have those little sayings to have those rhymes, because then it's easier to remember. Uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by uh, Just Kidding Rowling. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to say burn it. Wow. Honestly, I feel like I'm also the same. Yeah. I've never read it, but also she's like massively transphobic now. So yeah. it yeah. makes sense, I guess. Don't, don't, don't applaud. 
Oh, that's so condescending. Like I, I, I put myself on this pedestal by calling someone out and you applaud me and it makes me feel small. No, I couldn't agree more. Um, I think it's a little bit virtue signaling, sing, signally, but yeah. <laughs> Just stumbled through I mean, you, you flubbed the word. Yeah, yeah. Can I say stop? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, every stop so far has made sense. Riley addressed it, but it is the you did put up your hand and count three, two, one while (laughs) he was talking, (laughs) which is your kind of right is not technically an interruption. But but boy, was it hard to talk (laughs) during. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's akin to the ticking clock in a way. Yeah. Yeah. It's a literal ticking clock. Yeah. And then I wanted to note, and I'm sure you're going to want to get back to it, but I want to stop you before you do. You had this thing about the Kaminsky method talking about uh, hmm. Mel Brooks's brothers. And it felt like you were so excited to say it <laughs> that you were A, willing to count down, Marika. Um, <laughs> but also it felt like so prepared, like this That's, whole segment yeah, exactly. was yeah. built to be about that joke. I, <laughs> I think maybe, because the rest of us, we didn't know you were going to do this. We sort of organically <laughs> came up with these kind of good takes on what Brooks brothers could be. Yeah. And yours, I hate to say, maybe the worst of all the ones I was suggesting. Yours you sat down you thought about and you interrupted people to say. Mm. So I guess it's like before you say something, think, is this worth saying? Yeah. And even before that, is mm-hmm. this worth interrupting someone for? Let's We're only on about it. halfway we'll through it. this episode, but let's shake on it. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Oh, what have it's we've come to the end. That's the audit. Four weeks. Let's do a, the final, the final, final stop. Stop. I think this show is better than ever. I think I have become <laughs> a better man, a better person, a better host, a better Jost. I'm wondering if Amir, you and Ash ever need a third. I'm your guy. You know that. Yes. Jake and you and Jill ever need a third. I'm your Don't guy. You know that. Marika, we that. can try and figure something out in terms no. of like your roommate, me. No, for sure. <laughs> You guys are giving me nothing. There's this like weird tension in the air. I'm trying to wrap it up. No weird tension. All you're doing is propose having a fucking threesome with all of us. (laughs) Weird tension in the air. You're worried, and it's our fault. Is it something we did? Really? Really? I'm seeing smiles. You fucking wanted. You ended this audit by proposition. Yeah, you said you you did this final stop for us to recap, and then you immediately went on a thing about threesomes, menages. Yeah. So Jeffrey, I'm proud of you, okay? Um, I hope this yeah. is a really a month of a lot of healing and learning for you. And, uh, and I appreciate but, that. But remember the whole mirror and mirror thing I said that mm-hmm. people really yes. liked, and I think yeah, just good. I hope you'll keep thinking about <laughs> really that. It. I will. And I, yeah. I, I want to do... I think do... ultimately... Sorry. <laughs> I, I think ultimately uh, I would just recommend listening to everyone a bit more and not immediately like putting up your gates of defense um because i think we're we're doing this because we care about your improvement yeah um and ultimately the only way that you can is by like actually taking in our feedback and Mar- so yeah, that can I give a bit of feedback yeah. for sure every single game has been a 50 50 sort of option you know you're not really you're not doing any games that sort of like uh, like you know, in the interviewing world, they're called open questions. You know, you're literally mm. only giving people two options in their answers. And you're not yeah. actually giving... For some reason, I feel like a long time ago in the show, at some point we were like, we all have to unanimously agree on an answer and that's kind of stuck. <laughs> and so we all just say an answer and then you're like, so we're all in agreement. It's this thing and we move on. Well, I don't like confrontation. <laughs> <laughs> then why do games like Heaven or Mal, like where you're deciding that this one should die? Like, it seems like someone who really wants confrontation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I have some notes for you guys. Would love to hear them. George. This is not your first rodeo, you know? You've been on a lot of HeadGum podcasts. You've been on a lot of other podcasts. I, I don't understand why you don't have a mic at this point. That's a good Bite note. the bullet. That's yeah. a good note. Riley, I feel like you should make the big podcaster's room the little podcaster's room. I should, sorry, I should turn my home office into a bathroom. Nailed it. Nicole Byer style. I think that that would be a pretty damn good bathroom. And then you wouldn't have to get up and leave the room to, well, we... Marika, you've been through this whole audit with me. And not only can I not thank you enough for sticking by my side this whole time and defending me in the face of adversity, but I 
I want to thank you for your stewardship. You were the shepherd, my Lord and Savior this year. <laughs> and I was a sheeple. And I've realized the terrors of my ways. And I'm back, baby. You're welcome. I'm, I'm imagining a sheep realizing the terrors of his ways. I feel like that's the wolf's job. But it's an image that I like and I'm having fun with. <laughs> yeah. He's nice. done. It's over. The spell is over. <laughs> His reign is over. That's it, right? That's the show? I think so. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey, that's a fucking camera wrap on Jeff. That's it. Fuck yeah. Congratulations to everybody that's heard the show before. Fuck it. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. Yes. It's nice. the fucking grand finale. And dude, thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. I look forward to seeing who takes the fucking mantle, who takes the rain. You've done such a good job up until nah, now. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. Jeff, Jed. Oh my god. <laughs> or to the show, basically. Not actually. Um, Sweet. Jeff hit us with the the old outro. Let's hear it. One last time. <laughs> the swan you, song. Yeah, one final you have thing been fired. Dun, you dun, 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 dun. What about review review? <laughs> oh, pl- What's oh, that? Plugs. Plugs. Yeah, I'm on Twitter, Blumenfeld, and then uh, Marika Elon is Marika on Twitter. Weekend plants? <laughs> I might watch Bad Trip. <laughs> I heard it's good. I heard it's really yeah, funny. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really excited, actually. <laughs> For the first time in a while, I'm like... <laughs> You're gleeful. Pumped. You're positively giddy right I'm now. I'm glowing. And I, I never say that about myself. I feel <laughs> optimistic. And I don't know if it's getting shots in arms or the fact that we finally finished this pandemic. This disease is nearly COVID-19 over COVID-19 is not over. We have so I'm many more months. I'm not talking about COVID. <laughs> <laughs> talking about a much bigger cancer oh my god you're a tumor <laughs> good night everyone essentially enough <laughs> holy shit four weeks <laughs> being told everything i do wrong no credit given <laughs> listeners up cash is coming in Sponsors after sponsors, better help wants to help, and I'm getting better. You have love in your life. You have Avital. Jake has Jill. Marika has a roommate, a really close friend of hers that cares to live with her. I live in a basement. Guess what? There is a bedroom upstairs. <laughs> My roommates made me live in the basement. So if I could have 45 minutes of your guys' time once a week, right? <laughs> I think you'll. Throw me that bone if you give a shit at all. You said I was a cancer. <laughs> you said I was a disease. I didn't realize we were monetizing the show. <laughs> what was that? I didn't realize we were making um, so you, you missed like Jeff's making money off kind of break kind down of everything. His, you missed we're not paying Jeff. Yeah. So like what's break even? Yeah. <laughs> Zero dollars an episode. The fact that we're bringing in any money is probably reason enough to keep the train's going, and I think I spoke too soon. And if Jeff wants to, he can keep doing it, I guess. Let's do this. Amir, you yelled at me, I yelled at you. Let's call it even, Steven Seagal, as you would say. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just saw your guys' web series. It's actually kind of funny. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys so much. We will see you next week, or we won't. It'll be interesting. Like America, this is a great experiment. Sex! Sex!